It looks like Auburn is officially about to hire a new coach, and that coach is Hugh Freeze. And so my immediate thoughts are, is this an upgrade from Brian Harson? And if I'm just looking at the professional angle on this story, yes, I think this is an upgrade from Brian Harson, uh, but obviously there's a lot more to unpack with this story and a lot more to unpack with this coach. Um, in this video, this is just my initial thoughts. I'm actually doing a deeper dive that I will try to get posted by tomorrow. Um, but initially, I'm... Uh, I'm not surprised by this hire. I did think Auburn was going to hire uh, Lane Kiffin like a lot of other people did. I think that just fell through at the end because of some contract disagreements. I don't know for sure. But I was a little surprised by this hire. Um, a little surprised. I do think this is where we were going to end up eventually. Um, like I said, thought the Kiffin thing was going to go through. But ultimately, Hugh Freeze is the guy. And there's a lot of feelings that come with this. I'm, I'm not getting into the controversial side of this hire in this video. If you want to see that, I'm going to be posting a longer video. So be on the lookout for that. Turn on your notifications because I think you'll enjoy that one. Uh, I'm going to be as factual as I can be. I'm not going to get into too much opinion. I'm going to try to just post facts. In, in that longer video, I'm going to go into the uh, more of the timeline, the uh, the history of Hugh Freeze, some of his controversies, uh, some of the positive stuff about him. But in this one, I just want to tell you my initial thoughts. Uh, my initial thoughts are, one, the hire could have been worse. I'll go ahead and say that. I don't think Hugh Freeze is a bad coach. I think he's a good coach. I think he, he did great things at Ole Miss. Once again... Putting, putting blinders on for the controversy. But as far as a coach goes, he could coach football players. He could coach a team. And at uh, Liberty, look at what he did with Malik Willis. Guy went from riding the bench at Auburn to one of the top draft picks in the NFL when he played at Liberty for Hugh Freeze. That alone probably makes players like Robbie Ashford, uh, Zach Calzada, makes the uh, Holden Garner, probably makes our quarterbacks pretty excited. I do think he's a, a very good mind for offense. He's, he's got that offensive mind, and he's going to do great things and probably make our offense a lot more exciting and a lot more productive than it's been. Uh, so from that angle, I think it's a positive. I do hope that he's keeping Cadillac Williams on staff. I've seen initial reporting that uh, Cadillac will be retained. I do not know in, in what capacity. I think the smartest move would be to promote Cadillac to like an assistant coach kind of role, give him that title, give him some more money because of what he's done. Uh, so I hope that does happen. Um, but I definitely think he will be retained because the whiplash, the backlash, I mean, from that would be catastrophic. This is already a controversial hire. So keeping that in mind is John Cohen. You're probably telling you for his, hey, we're going to hire you, but you're keeping Cadillac Williams on the team. You're not, or you're keeping him on the staff. You're not letting him go. He comes with the team. And honestly, as a head coach, I don't think that would be a big deal because he's not going to be, he's not going to be the guy behind the scenes who's going to be uh, leading an uprising. He's so pro Auburn. Cadillac is not going to cause you problems. So I don't think there's anything to worry about from that angle if you're the head coach coming in, if you're Hugh Freeze. So um, the other good thing, there's already reports coming out. I saw uh, Brandon Marcello of 24-7 reported that it appears that uh, Hugh Freeze is already hitting the recruiting troll, or he's already reaching out to recruits. That's a positive thing, because it seems like Brian Harson didn't do much of that at all. So that's a positive. I, I, I do like hearing that. But ultimately, how do I feel about the hire? Um, do I think we could have could we've gotten a better coach? Possibly, yes. I do think we could have, but I don't think we were willing to give up certain things. I don't think we were willing to do what needed to be done to get a, a higher tier coach than who we're getting. Not saying that Hugh Freeze is a bad coach. Once again, speaking about the professional aspect of Hugh Freeze. Um, I don't think he's a terrible coach. I think he's a good coach. Um, 
but could we have gotten better? Yes, but I don't think we wanted to give up certain things. And when I say we, I mean the, the management, the administration, the whoever. Um, and then the other part of it is when you're hiring a coach for Auburn, the thing that I think Hugh Freeze is going to do a really good job of is he's going to be bought into Auburn. He's going to be the kind of coach who he loves Auburn. He's going to love the players. He the Players are going to buy into him once he gets – on campus and he starts working, that's going to take some time because, uh, you know, the players are seeing all the stuff you and I are seeing about Hugh Freeze online. So you do have to keep that in mind. But uh, but ultimately, I think he is a player's coach kind of guy and players will like that about him. You've already seen Robbie Ashford uh, tweet his support for Hugh Freeze. You've seen some other players tweet their support. Um, I'm sure there's plenty who are not in favor of this hire, but it could have been worse. I think the, the worst option would have been hiring a coach to forget Cadillac Williams for a minute. Cause I, I, I love Cadillac Williams. His lack of experience is what concerned me. And by lack of experience, I mean, he was not even a coordinator yet. He'd at least been a coordinator for Auburn, like an offensive coordinator. I would feel better about it. But taking him out of the equation, some of the people we were looking at who did not have even had coaching experience or experience in the SEC, those hires would have concerned me more from a professional standpoint. Um, but looking at just the professional aspects, I think Hugh Freeze is a good hire. Is he a home run hire? I think we're going to have to wait and see with that. I think the first test is, what does he do with recruiting? He's got a little bit of time to turn this around. We've got the early uh, signing period coming up early in December. Um, and then what can he do with this recruiting class? So if he's able to raise that up pretty quickly uh, as soon as he gets hired, I think that raises his stock. And then the next test is obviously, can he do a better job of winning football games than Brian Harson did? The bar was set pretty low. Bar was set pretty low. So if he's able to recruit better, he's able to win more games than Brian Harson. I think it's at least from a professional standpoint that is a success. Um, now the part I don't want to talk about in this video, but I'm going to talk about it, are the the personal issues. Because what I will tell you is there are certainly quite a few personal issues swirling around Hugh Freeze. Some of them are uh, legitimate concerns and things he should not have done. Others are things that have been a little misconstrued. Um, I want to get into all that and I want to talk about all that, but I think it's going to take a little more time. So that's something I'm currently working on. I stopped to film this video real quick because I wanted to put something out. But initially, these are my, these are my initial thoughts. I think it's a, from a professional standpoint only, this is a pretty good hire. This is a pretty good hire, and I think it is an improvement from Brian Harson at the very least. Uh, is he better than Gus? We'll see. Some people say this is Gus 2.0. Uh, I don't think that necessarily. I think he is a probably a better offensive mind from what I've seen. He's a better offensive mind than Gus. Uh, he's definitely a better developer at quarterbacks than Gus. Um, but I want to see what he does at Auburn with the talent we have and the, the name recognition we have. What is he able to do with these resources? Uh, we saw what he did at Ole Miss. We saw the mistakes he made. We saw what he's done at Liberty. But what does he do coming back to the SEC? Because the truth is, Hugh Freeze has the potential for quite the redemption story. He also has the potential to slip back into some of the problems we've already seen. The question is, what will we see? That's all I've got for this video. Please look out for the more in-depth video I'm working on. I will try to get that out as quick as I can. Thank you for watching this one, but please tell me your initial thoughts on Auburn hiring Hugh Freeze.